What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. Today in this video we'll take a look at another custom ROM based on Android 12 for OnePlus 8 series. And this ROM can be used as daily driver. I haven't noticed any kind of major bugs. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 8 on which I am running AOSP extended custom ROM based on Android 12. This ROM is available for many Android devices. You can find out the description below for supported devices. First let me show you the software information. So here you can take a look Android version is Android 12. This is the unofficial build of AOSP Extended which is based on 5th October 2021 security patch. These are the benchmark results with single core device have scored 884 and with multi core device have scored 2928. With Antutu benchmark application device have scored 6,71,838. And guys if you want to install this ROM you can follow the installation guide at the end of this video. Development of Android 12 custom ROMs is still at initial stages, so you might encounter a few bugs here and there, and that won't restrict you to use the device as a daily driver. This ROM comes with the Pixel Launcher pre-installed, so you get almost everything like Material U theming, dark theme, themed icon, and other stuff. As you can see here, according to the wallpaper, device have already adapted to the color scheme. Basic functionalities do work great, but if you're using two SIM cards, in the status bar, you might see slight overlapping of Volti icon. But again, that's not a big deal. Your Wi-Fi calling works fine. Also, we get the support of Volti services. And you guys will also notice bit extra gap between battery percentage and other services which are mentioned in the status bar. And nowadays, people are also concerned about the Widevine security level on custom ROMs. So on this particular ROM, you can see Widevine security level is L1. So you can enjoy HD content on OTT platforms. And we have also seen lots of people asking about whether payment services will work or not on custom roams. So guys, until and unless you root your device, you won't have any kind of issues with the payment services. And for the root access also, we have modules which can help you hide root access and still you'll be able to use the payment services. So there's nothing like if you are running a custom room, you won't be able to use the payment services. By default on this custom room, you guys gonna see Google Go camera pre-installed. And on this version of Google Camera, almost everything seems to be working great. And if you guys want more features of Google Camera, then try downloading and install the different versions of Google Camera according to your requirements. We don't get to see any bloatways here. By default, you guys are gonna see two or three applications pre-installed. One is this AEX wallpaper application from where you can download the wallpapers for your device. And after that, you'll have this music player pre-installed on AEX custom ROM. All the sensors does their work great like accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass and gyroscope. Unlike GSI images you can also see Bluetooth doesn't have any kind of issues. I have connected my device with my Realme Buds Air 2 and that works great. Also I haven't faced any kind of difficulties using both the bands of Wi-Fi which is 4GHz and 5GHz. We also get to see few customization options inside this room. So here under settings, we have a section of extensions from where you can customize lots of things like battery settings, status bar, quick setting panels, navigation, lock screen and buttons. I won't be going in depth of these customizations. If you wish to install, you can try it yourself. We have this new privacy dashboard from Android 12. Under security, you also get to see working fingerprint scanner. Though it takes little bit of extra time to register your fingerprint, but once it's done, then you won't face any kind of issues unlocking your device with fingerprint unlock. And now let's try to unlock the device using fingerprint unlock. And as you can see, the unlock speed was pretty much fast. And the best part of this room, we also get to see OnePlus settings pre-installed on this room. So like we have DC dimming feature, automatic high brightness mode, Dolby Atmos, FPS overlay. You can also find the game mode. And if you want, you can make changes between the vibrator strength. No issues with the media playback and stereo speakers also works great. Battery backup, I'll update you guys in the pinned comment by tomorrow. And at last, we also have this working one-handed mode. Basically a great custom ROM based on Android 12 to be used as daily driver if you want something different from Oxygen OS or a taste of Google's Android 12. And now let's talk about the installation process of this custom ROM on our OnePlus 8 series. To install AOSP Extended Android 12 custom ROM on your OnePlus 8 series, you'll need these many files. One is the ROM installer, second one, ROM itself, 
and the third one is Havoc Recovery. Just extract these files. Once you extract the files from AOSP ROM file, you need to copy payload.bin, copy this file and paste it inside the folder of ROM installer. So once you extract the ROM installer zip file, you will see these many files. So here under payload underscore input, we need to place the payload file which we extracted from AOSP extended ROM. So as you can see, we have placed the file. Just go back and now here in the main folder of ROM installer, copy the recovery file. So here you can see now we have Havoc recovery and we have also placed the payload.bin inside the payload input folder. Also make sure you are running the latest build of Oxygen OS on your OnePlus 8 series. On my OnePlus 8, the latest build is Oxygen OS 11.0.9.9 and also your device bootloader should be unlocked. Once you have all these things done, boot your device into fast boot mode, enable advanced reboot from developer options. So this will enable one click for fast boot mode. Long press on the power key, tap on these three dots and here you'll see an option of bootloader. Tapping on it, now your device should boot into fast boot mode. Once your device boots into fast boot mode, first we'll flash the recovery file which is Havoc recovery. So for that, open command prompt in the ROM installer folder where you have placed the recovery file. To do that, just type cmd in the address bar and hit enter. Now give a command fast boot flash recovery followed by the recovery name which is havoc underscore recovery. You can also drag and drop the file here in the command prompt. Hit enter and once it is done, now you are good to flash Android 12 custom ROM. To flash the ROM, just double click on this flasher file but before doing this make sure you have placed the payload.bin file inside the payload input folder. Double click on fastboot flasher file and the installation process will automatically start. Process might take around 4 to 5 minutes. So as you can see the process have been successfully completed. We have successfully flashed the Android 12 ROM on our OnePlus 8. Now you just need to tap on enter recovery and perform a factory reset. So here we have the option of factory reset, selecting it, format data and once it is done, now you can boot your device into system, reboot to system and our device should now successfully boot with Android 12 custom ROM. And there you can see our device have been successfully booted up into AOSP extended room. So guys, this was the quick look and the installation guide of AOSP extended Android 12 custom ROM for OnePlus 8 series. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.